We've seen ransomware do a lot of crazy stuff recently, but I bet you haven't seen ransomware that disguises itself as a cool game of Snake. So yesterday, while I was going through some malware feeds, I came across this sample which calls itself Kryptonite. And when I first saw it, it was at 5 out of 61 engines in Vars total, so it was very new and not very well detected. Right now, it seems to have gotten a few more detections, but it's still 8 out of 61, and a lot of engines don't detect it currently. So let's see what this thing does. Here I have the actual executable, and all you need to do to have fun is run it. So let's do that. As you can see, it says Snake Game, designed and programmed by these guys. So let's start playing. No harm in a bit of old school nostalgia fun, right? There you go, that's not so bad, but oh, wait, what's happening here? Crap, what's going on now? Why am I seeing all these weird things on the screen? Attention, attention, attention. Your documents, photos, databases, and other important files have been encrypted. So this is what happens when you try to play a shitty game like Snake. I mean, come on guys, it's 2017, we have better games. But I'm not sure if we have better ransomware, because it seems it has done its job pretty well. It claims to be using RSA 2048, which would be pretty strong encryption. And it leaves this ransom note on your desktop, calls itself Kryptonite Ransomware and demands $500 to decrypt your files. Pretty interesting. Now, if we take a look at the actual files on our system, you know, as you can see, like they're not exactly viewable, but they still have the same extension. Usually, ransomware renames your files with a different extension to ensure that you understand what has happened, but in this case, it seems the extensions are not affected at all. But the data itself is encrypted, so there's no way you're deciphering this. Unless there's some really easy trick and I haven't figured it out right now, but it does seem like your data is encrypted. As you can see, even with images, the extensions remain the same, but the files are inaccessible. Pretty crazy stuff, and uh, another thing that's kind of interesting about this ransomware is the kind of strings it has. So, for example, if you look at the PDB name, it has some weird stuff there, which we will get to very soon. But before that, I just want you to know that um, there does seem to be some stuff missing over here right now, because if we take a look at the ransom note, it says you have to run getmyid.exe. But as you can see, there's no getmyid.exe anywhere. I'm not sure, maybe it's uh, extracted to some other folder, probably have to do a red shot analysis to figure that out, but I don't think that this was exactly meant to be released. So we can't be sure if this is in the wild ransomware trying to infect users and uh, get paid, or if this is just a joke or something else. And that brings us to um, one of the interesting things I found about it, that is, um, if you take a look at the strings or the PDB name, you're going to find that it has this weird uh, string about computer engineering in Technion. And if we Google Technion, it is actually a university in Israel. So um, maybe somebody's just trying to have fun or uh, make a joke on their classmates or maybe some students hmm, couldn't find a real job and they have to do something else now but <laughs> regardless um, it is kind of interesting and I'll, if I find something else I'll let you guys know via Twitter so you can follow me there I will be looking at it a bit more in depth but for now that's gonna be it I hope you enjoyed this video this is Leo from the PC security channel and as always Stay informed, stay secure.